put the deliveries in context here. How do we think about the first quarter relative uh, to what's been going on, frankly, with Boeing? Yeah, so I, I think the first quarter really isn't, isn't going to matter. The deliveries aren't going to matter that much. They're a bit of an aberration, right? Boeing's in the middle of these investigations from the, the FAA. They're putting together their plan for how they're going to stabilize production, uh, improve, improve quality uh, going forward. And so we kind of knew it was going to be a, a light quarter. It was lighter than even we expected. I think I was kind of hoping they, they, they could deliver more of the airplanes they have in inventory. They have a number of airplanes in inventory already built, probably need some small modifications to get them out to customers. Uh, those have really sort of dragged financials too. So it was a little bit light, but I think what really matters here is going to be their containment of cash burn during the quarter. And we're going to look for them, you know, to come out of this quarter, give us a sense for what the plan is to, to improve production quality. Uh, and at Bloomberg Intelligence, you know, we sort of, we've got them modeled for a 38 a month rate on the 737 in 4Q. So we kind of look for them to recover to where they should have been now before the loss of the door plug in the Alaska airplane by the end of the year. So again, I think really cash burn is going to matter the most when they report earnings. This, earnings, this was a little bit expected. Earnings out on April 24th, estimated before market. Now it's dropped. The stock has dropped more than 30% already this yeah. year. It has declined every day for the last seven days. Right. What turns the story around? Is it just about the CEO at this point, a new one that's I, I credible? Think, I think a lot of it is, right? So what really turns the story around is improving the manufacturing process, improving quality, and, and increasing increasing the build rate, especially for the 737, which is their primary moneymaker cash generator. The problem we have now, right, is we're waiting for the new CEO. We already know Dave Calhoun's going to leave, and we're in this vacuum, right, because we don't know what the new CEO, his plan is going to be, and Dave Calhoun can't really speak for him. So the challenge, I think, for people that are, you know, in the stock is trying to figure out who that next person is, what their plan's going to be, and until you get that person in place, I think it's really hard you know, it's, it's really hard to understand the story forward for Boeing right now.